Welcome back. After 10 weeks of top-notch high school football and four weeks of deliberations and online voting, the results are in. And joining us now to announce our High Five Leadership Grant winner from Jenny Montgomery Scott, First Vice President Stephen Carlton and Albany Complex Manager Tim Howe. Welcome to Look News, gentlemen. Hi, David. Great to see you back. It's, it's great to have you here. This is always the most exciting time of the High Five process the fun part. from when we launch it, going through the whole football season. We've, of course, had four weeks of voting online and you guys deliberating, and we're going to announce the winner in just a moment. I think the best place to start, though, is to take a look back at this high school football yeah. season. You guys have been at this for quite some time with us. How did this season stack up? Well, this was a great season. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I think this probably was one of the most exciting seasons in a lot of ways. I mean, Queensbury had a wonderful run, state champion. I think Coach Arian won his 100th game. Uh, it was just a lot of excitement this yeah. year, and we expanded. We we, uh, we had covered some, new some games. schools we never covered before, right? And how Which did that right. feel to be getting a little, you know, making our footprint a little bigger? You know, it, it was fun to go out and to, to see the families, get in the community, and we, that's one of our favorite parts. I mean, really, we're you know we're a small firm, and being able to be in these small towns and these communities, uh, it's great to have that kind of impact. And so these new schools that we we're a part of really supportive and a uh, really great community. I think what's fun about this is you, you guys are the sponsors of this show, but you're not just the sponsors. You're also mm. hosting the shows, mm. you're getting out into the communities, you're meeting the players. It's not just that you're writing a check and helping us put this show on, you're also a part of the show. Uh, talk to me about meeting uh, these young athletes and just the, the caliber of these, these folks that you're meeting. Well, it, it's, been, it's been great. You know, Steve can, can talk about this as well. Uh, you're right, we get to call the games, which is wonderful. The partnership with Look TV has been special since day one. Um, calling the games with uh, uh, Brian Delaney, who does a fabulous job at play-by-play. -play. Uh, you get in front of the crowd, you hear, you hear the parents, everybody getting into the games. You meet the kids afterwards and, you know, it's okay, I'll, I'll be called sir. You know, <laughs> I'll get over it, but, uh, you know, just, just well-mannered. Uh, nice student athletes, and, and, and really that's what mm -hmm. we, were, we were trying to uh, promote here. Yeah, you know, I, I just thinking back when we were in Greenwich, it was a freezing cold night. We're sitting on the bleachers, everybody's covered in blankets, and a couple of us had underdressed a little bit. And some of the other family members are like, Do you want blankets? Do you want to keep warm and stuff like that? It was just football is a great part of, of some of these communities, and just seeing how everybody connects, being able to walk before the game and walk around and talk to people. and talk to the players afterwards. I mean, that's really what it is. There's so much to learn story-wise about these families that, uh, you know, it's not just about what's going on on the field. Yeah, of course, we're, we're, we're uh, picking this winner from their performance on the field and off the field as well. Mm. We'll get to that in, in a moment. You have the list of contenders there. I think it's mm. worth giving a tip of the hat to each of these contenders in, in, Absolutely. in the contest. Yeah, we, we've, we've got uh, Josh Thomas from Schuylerville, Jake Englantine from Saratoga, Brett Rodriguez from Queensbury, uh, we have uh, Frankie Nasvera, Nasavira, rather, at Queensbury, Jeff Underhill, uh, Connor Scott, Quentin Austin from Glens Falls, John Barnes from Greenwich, and Dakota Harvey from uh, Saratoga Springs. Um, uh, tough competition. Very, Very tough this tough year. Tough to pick a winner out of that crowd. Yeah, it seems like it's always going to be e somewhat easier, but it's always tougher. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, these kids just do, they put their heart out on the, on the field. Uh, we had two teams earlier in the in the year, maybe midway through the year, where it was the the jug game. Yep. You know, so those falls, puts and falls. Right, and those teams weren't having a great year, but it di didn't matter for that game. I mean, they left it all out on the field. It was an exciting game, and that's what mm. that's what makes it fun. There's a there's a lot of passion. Before we announce our winner, and this is the exciting part, as we get ready to present this check, mm -hmm. uh, talk to me about the prize. Sure. Well, the prize is a thousand dollar scholarship in the form of a 529 plan uh, for education, and uh, the winning high school will receive a two hundred and fifty dollar donation. And you had mentioned, you know, we look for that standout athlete on, on the field, but after that, that takes one of the five qualities of high five, which is athletics. We're also looking for leadership, teamwork, scholastics, and community service. They have to give back to their own communities in which which they live in. And of course the way that we come to the winner, there's a couple of steps here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have the online vote, yep. uh, we have of course you guys consulting with some of the, the producers at the play-by-play uh, -play game of the week to announce that winner and also some letters written. Right. Talk to mm -hmm. me about the response this season from the, the, the audience. This is moving and you That's know we've great. done this for a number of seasons now with basketball and football and with every se season you don't know what you're going to get but we get letters from parents, from teachers, from, uh, from librarians, librarians <laughs> you know, 
And, and it's, it's absolutely moving when you hear the stories of these families and these athletes. Like, like we said, it's not just about the sports. Mm. It's about the coaching staff getting a chance to hear their feedback and saying, here's the kind of person this, this young man is in the community. And, and that's what we got this year. And this year we had a really special young man who just the feedback, the letters that we got, just really just indicated to us that it was overwhelmingly yeah. in his favor. Overwhelming in that response and also in our online vote, this school mobilized their they student did. body yeah. to get onto looktvonline.com. We had an online vote there that was up for a couple of weeks and mm -hmm. this student, this school outpaced everybody yep. in, yeah. in casting the vote. I guess at this point it, we should just announce the winner <laughs> because uh, we've, we've talked yeah. about this enough and I know that uh, we've got those students that are waiting to see if they're lucky. As I always say, drum roll please yep. and, <laughs> <laughs> and let you guys take it away. Who is the high school football player of the game? Janny High Five Leadership <laughs> Grant winner for 2013. Go Black Horses. Black Horses. <laughs> That's right, Josh Thomas from Schuylerville. Congratulations. Great Absolutely Josh. amazing yes. job. Great Congratulations. Job, Josh. And, uh, and, and a wonder, wonderful story, too. Uh, John Bowen is the coach, and John was the coach for the first recipient ever mm. for a High Five Award. Jordan Davis out of Boston Spa. David Sunk just right. does a great job there, athletic director. And we've Heath, had another Heath winner. Morris here in Schuylerville, athletic director. Pardon? And we've had another winner under David as well at, at Boston. At, yep, uh, Sydney Boston. Hansen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the thing that we talk about. It's the community, it's, and it's getting a chance to recognize the, these athletic programs and these schools and saying, you know, you always hear the negatives sometimes about some of these schools and these communities. It's great to highlight all the positives that are going on. And this is a great story you want to recognize. Yeah, and we're recognizing these kids that are not just excelling on the field. They're excelling in every part of life, and we're hoping right. that they'll go on to college and they'll make a difference back here in our communities. Absolutely, yes. Uh, well, congratulations to both of you on another successful uh, uh, football season. We're looking forward to basketball. We'll be all together on Thursday as we present this check. Can't wait. Schools. Can't, can't wait. Thank you for your partnership again. It's been another... Great season. Yeah, really rewarding. Thank you, David. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you both. We'll see you on Thursday. Now, to see this segment for a second time and learn more about our High Five Leadership Grant with Jannie Montgomery Scott, head to the website. It's looktvonline.com.